Je suis de retour à Paris pour la première fois depuis 13 ans et je suis vraiment super excité. Pas seulement parce que je pense que c'est la plus belle ville au monde, mais aussi parce que Renault, le fameux groupe français, a sponsorisé ma venue ici pour vivre une expérience qui est vraiment hors du commun. My apologies to all the francophones out there whose language I just butchered. Anyway, we're on our way to Normandy right now to see the Symbios demo car. This is a vehicle that is so exclusive, there is only one of them in the entire world. So you wouldn't be able to order one. But I wouldn't worry about that because it's also so high tech that you wouldn't be able to afford the multi millions of euros that it took to develop it anyway. Vous voulez le voir avec moi? Allons-y! Okay, here it comes. <laughs> and nobody in the driver's seat. Wow. It's beautiful. Everything about the design of the Symbios demo car was done with a purpose. Its dual motor rear wheel drive electric powertrain accelerates it from zero to 100 kilometers, that's 60 miles for my American friends, in just six seconds. It's almost completely smooth with front vertical air intakes and side wind deflectors to reduce drag and turbulence for better efficiency. And its chassis was reimagined from the ground up for electric power and autonomous operation. Okay. So I can just let go? Yes, let go. Completely, okay. Nothing? Okay. Nothing. Well. <laughs> because no conversation about the next decade of automotive technology can ignore the safety and convenience advantages of well-implemented driverless technology. So the Symbios demo car is bristling with sensors. In the front and rear bumpers, you'll find LIDARs with five radars positioned behind the bodywork and a belt of 20 ultrasonic sensors all around the car. These rear vision cameras help track nearby vehicles. The door handles conceal lateral cameras, one on each side. Two front cameras are positioned in the upper part of the windshield with a third wide angle on the bumper. And around back are two more, one on the bumper and one cleverly concealed in the Renault Diamond logo. Okay, ready? The vehicle supports three modes of operation, normal or classic, a sportier version of that called dynamic, and AD mode. When the third one is activated, the exterior lighting turns blue, indicating to the cars around that it is operating autonomously. And the car's brain, capable of level four autonomy, takes over, allowing the driver on authorized roadways to focus his or her attention entirely on something else. Like, I feel like what I'm doing right now should definitely be illegal. <laughs> While it handles complicated tasks like maintaining an appropriate speed and following distance relative to other cars, merging and exiting highways, changing lanes to overtake other cars, and functioning alone in traffic jams. While all of this is happening, the operator can actually monitor external sensor data in real time on three customizable OLED screens from LG while basically sitting back and enjoying the ride. The seats can be adjusted for a little more leg room to a reclined zero G mode for chilling out while your car takes you wherever it is you're going, or even tilted 10 degrees towards the front seat passenger to converse or even watch a movie together. Then taking things to another level, Renault has designed, in collaboration with Ubisoft, as part of the Symbios demo car, the ability to wear a VR headset piped into the car's onboard sensors and transport your driving experience to another setting altogether. This is crazy. C'est incroyable. Yes. Yeah. Now, none of this happens without some significant advances in mobile connectivity. So the Symbios demo car features relatively obvious things like an always on internet connection for streaming audio or video content, uh, navigation and traffic and calendar updates from your digital assistant. But there was also some stuff that I didn't expect. VX2 or vehicle to infrastructure connectivity can display helpful information like nearby tourist attractions on the dashboard screen. 
It can warn the vehicle about any upcoming hazards like accidents or poor weather, and it can even allow navigation through toll booths without any intervention required from the driver whatsoever. And the craziest part about that is that using RFID tags built into the car, it can actually identify not just the users in the car, but even which seat they're occupying by their phones and adjust the seat position, music, and climate control to their preferences. Now, this exact vehicle is not heading to an assembly line in France anytime soon. And some of its features, like the massive heads-up display, adjustable opacity glass, and the smell emitters, <laughs> that change the scent of the cabin depending on the driving mode are unlikely to make their way to the mainstream anytime soon. But that isn't really the purpose of the Symbios demo car. The reason Renault created it was to show what will be possible tomorrow by actually building one today. And many of the technologies featured in this vehicle, like the Deviolet speakers, are expected to make their way into production vehicles in the coming years. What a freaking time to be alive. So thanks to Renault for sponsoring us out here, the French government for allowing these tests to take place on public roads, and to you guys for watching. If you thought this video was cool, you can check out Renault on social media for future updates at, at Group Renault on Twitter and at Renault on Instagram and Facebook.